Welcome back to another video. So today we will be taking a look at the Royal Clutch RKG68 Pro. So basically what this keyboard is, is basically the original RKG68 but it's the Pro version meaning that it comes with an aluminium case better than the original plastic case. So today we're basically going to take a look at what we get in the kit and what we're going to do to actually mod this keyboard to make it sound better. So before the video actually starts, I want to say a huge thank you to TopBank. They are a Shopee seller and they actually sent me some keycaps to use in this video. So the keycaps I'll be using in this video are basically sponsored by them. So do check them out. Links in the description below. They sell a lot of keyboard stuff and keycaps. So yeah, check them out. So this right here is the kit. Let me just open it up. So it basically looks like a normal RKG68 box. So on top, we can actually see that they gave some free extra stabilizers right here. These already come blue, but they are not the best quality and they are not clipped yet. So I will be modding them later on. Next thing we get is the keyboard kit itself. And we can check out what else is included. So that is everything included. Let me just go through it one by one. So my keyboard right here actually comes with a brush. It's a really soft tip brush to actually brush your keyboard or clean your keyboard with. Really nice addition from Royal Clutch. So besides that, I also got this. This is a 2-in-1 RK switch and keycap puller. Quality is quite okay and it'll work just fine for this keyboard. Next thing we get is in this. So I can see the 2.4 GHz dongle and the cable inside. Let me just take it up. So the cable given is actually a normal uh, USB cable from type A to type C for the charging and using of this keyboard. It's pretty good length and the plastic material is pretty okay. So this right here is the 2.4 GHz dongle. I believe it comes like this because there's actually no slot in the aluminum case for this dongle. Now we can take a look at the keyboard. So this right here is the keyboard itself. First of all, we get the RKQR code in front. So you can scan this if you want to go to check out their website and the manual. It's all in Chinese. And that is it. Now for the kit itself. So right here we can see it's a 5-pin hotspot PCB which is actually not facing RGB. And then we can see a few stock steps included. These stock steps are really, really bad. So I'm just going to be taking them out and using the ones that they actually gave, the yellow ones. So it's a white PCB, I mean a white plate, and then we have a blue PCB. Let's take a look around the keyboard. So on the bottom here, we can see the aluminium. It feels really nice. So it kind of has a silver shine to it. On the bottom, this is the two rub four rubber feet actually. And then we have an on-off switch right here and a Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz toggle. Then we can kind of see the RK Royal Clutch logo etched into the aluminium. On the top right here, it's blank and then we on the top left right here, we actually have the Type-C connector port. And this right here is the side profile. It has an angle to it, which is really nice to improve your typing experience. So now let's just dismantle the keyboard and see what we get with the whole kit. So I just opened up the whole keyboard and it's actually really easy to disassemble and we can see that there's actually some foam included. So this is actually I think some silicone dampener that is fitted in between the plate and the PCB to dampen the, type, uh, the sound of typing. And this is really nice inclusion but we can see that the whole aluminium case right here is actually just bare metal. So I'll be adding some poron foam into it to make it sound much better. Now let's just mod the case. So I actually bought this piece of poron foam here from PCB Malaysia. Do check them out. Links in the description below. So I've just cut out all the holes for the standoffs and do remember to cut some slits for the wire to pass through from the daughter board and the battery. Now with that out of the way, we can put this back together. So just before I start screwing everything back together, I'll be taking out the stock stabilizers and replacing them with the ones they're given. So I'll be clipping the new ones they give and then holy modding them.
So there's actually some silicone blocking the stabilizers for the spacebar, so I'm just going to remove that. So what I actually do to holy mod the steps is first thing, I clip off the feet. Second thing, I cut a small piece of bandaid and push it into where the wire would usually go. Third, I would actually loop the stem and the housing. Fourth, I would loop the wire and push it in and this is all you have to do to holy mod the stabilizers. So after holy modding all of the steps, we can now put it back onto the plate. So I've just installed all of the new stabilizers which I've holy modded and surprisingly they fit quite well and I think that this will perform just nicely. So now we can put everything back together and move on to the switches. So when actually reassembling the case, I realized that I forgot to cut some holes for the switches. So I actually did that and then I proceeded to put everything back together. So now with everything reassembled, let me just turn it on to see if it still works. So the RGB is on and everything seems to be working fine. We can now move on to the switches I'll be using for this build. So for the switches, I'll be using some Echo Starfy switches. Honestly, these are one of my favorite switches and a huge thank you to Echo for actually sending them over. So I have already looped the switches that I'll be using today with some Crytox 205 Grade Zero. Honestly, I think they sound much better than the stock ones. Here is the sound comparison between looped and unlooped. So from the sound comparison, we can actually see that the loop one are much more cleaner and much more smoother and there is no spring ping. So I love that about the switches. Now let's just put it into the keyboard. So this is what the keyboard looks like with all the switches in. Honestly, I think that it looks really nice with the Echo Starfish switches. And this is what it looks like with the RGB on and it looks amazing. Now we can move on to the keycaps I'll be using for this build. So for the keycaps, I'm actually going to use this keycaps kit right here. It's a gradient kind of keycap and it's actually sent over by top bank. Honestly, I think that it looks amazing and it's going to fit this keyboard very nice. So the material for these keycaps are actually PPT and it's dice out and honestly, the print is really, really nice and the PPT is quite thick. So this is what the keyboard looks like with all of the keycaps on. Honestly, I really, really love how this looks with the gradient on it and it looks awesome. So if you're interested in these keycaps, do check the links down in the description and below. A huge thank you to TopBank again for sending this over. Now we can move on to the typing sound test. So after modding and actually using this keyboard kit for a few days, I honestly think that this is a good starter keyboard for some people out there who don't want to venture too far and want to stick to their roots with the Royal Clutch keyboards. 
for me personally i really love this build i love how it came out and love how it sounds and especially the looks with the keycaps i really love it so if you're interested in anything in this video of course it will be included in the links in the description below and that is it for this build so that is basically it for this video guys honestly i had a blast making this keyboard especially with all the mods i think that it sounded quite nice with this aluminium case so again if you're interested in the keycaps or anything mentioned in this video all will be linked down in the description below but i want to say a huge thank you to top bank for actually sending over the keycaps i really love these gradient keycaps and i think that i'll be using them for a while so that is it for this video guys leave a like if you like this video dislike this video if you didn't like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't i have more content like this coming very soon and follow me on all my social media to actually keep up to date with what i'm doing currently so yeah see you guys in the next video goodbye guys